Part two of our journey begins in Ottawa, Ontario and ends when we get on the ferry to Newfoundland. Our next stop was in Ottawa to visit yet another cousin of Rebecca's who she hadn't seen in years. We had a great time and did a, a wonderful urban bike tour. Thank you, James. We appreciate it. We spent the weekend in Ottawa and it was nice to spend time with cousin James and family. We got a, a wonderful bike tour of the city, uh, some great visiting in, and uh, a good feel of Ottawa. We know we really enjoy going back and spending more time there. And then the next day, well, and when we left Ottawa, we drove ac across Quebec and we got to visit with Aunt Louise in Montreal. It was very good to catch up with her. parked in our first Walmart parking lot Yay. of the trip. That's like a, a milestone. Now we're making our way across New Brunswick. Such pretty scenery. Very uh, bush-like or rolling. rolling hills. Farmland. Heavily tree. Beautiful rivers. Um, before too long, eh, at some point we'll be in Nova Scotia and then on to Prince Edward Island. Can't wait, we get to see the ocean today, so that's that's a big accomplishment, Yay. finally getting to the ocean. But we've already seen way more water in all of Colorado, from all the rivers and lakes. Here we are approaching the bridge to BEI. We're on our way, and the wait is over. Forget Gilbert. <laughs> You're dumping me for Anne. Yeah. You're too wordy. Must be 80. This was our first time to visit PEI. It is quiet in mid-May. We had to visit Green Gables Heritage Place where author Lucy Maud Montgomery drew inspiration for the colorful character Anne of Green Gables. Then we spent most of our time with long walks on the beach and exploring small towns. Listen to the frogs. We're in North Murray Harbor on Prince Edward Island. First full day by the ocean. Prince Edward Island is a beautiful place and we uh, really enjoyed our time there. It was quiet. It was before the summer rush. We uh, spent our time exploring uh, a majority of the island. Some of it on bike, some of it in the car and uh, walks on the beach and uh, just was a, a great place to really start spending our time by the ocean. We got our first ferry ride from PEI to Nova Scotia with the whole rig, with the truck and the camper. I had been looking forward to that for a long time. Waiting to get on. Nobody. 
once arriving in Nova Scotia, we uh, arrived at our next destination. Rebecca's cousin Andrew and his wife Shauna, we arrived at their house, backed down their long driveway with the camper and set up camp for about five nights, I believe, which they have a beautiful home, timber frame home built by Andrew and others. They have a beautiful view of the ocean from their house. And I got, I was pleased to get to help Andrew work on an addition to his shop in a traditional timber frame style building. It was a lot of fun. Significant hoist part because why? what I, yeah, I'm going to tell you why. Because what I learned is. I, I never heard of that. All you had to say was, okay. So no, now you have to say that, so now we have yeah. to tell them the story. Yeah. You can go fast if you want, but you don't need to. I, I can do whatever you want. You can be able to take that around that frame, buddy. I think so. Right. Two trusses are up now. Working on the third. So in the interest of science, are we ready to proceed? Yes. Okay. Proceed. <laughs> what is this demonstration called? Uh, watch, the ladder is not usable right now, so you know. Yeah, okay, okay. thank you. All right, are we filming? We are. All right. We are experiment uh, 1001. So the question we were asking is, did we need to move the truck or not? That's right, the, the other truck. <laughs> All right. See now, see. Right, ah! Man. The truck did not need to the move. The truck did not need to move. All right, we got that. Oh, shoot. Yeah. In Andrew's new shop, he can make all the cuts and joinery for a timber frame project so that once the pieces are at the job site, the structure goes together quickly. Contact Andrew when you're ready to build. We were treated to fresh lobster dinner, which included instructions for optimum lobster shelling, and I made a couple of new friends. Thank you, Andrew and Shauna, for a great visit. After a short drive from Andrew and Shauna's, we reached Cape Breton Island where we set up camp and uh, spent the night and then the next day we got to explore the Cabot Trail. Day 30 of our adventure, we're on the English Town Cable Ferry. Um, we're on Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia about ready to drive the Cabot Trail, one of the most scenic drives in all the land. And all this the day before we catch our seven hour ferry ride to Newfoundland. Here we go, it's gonna start moving in just a minute. Oh no, they're still loading, but pretty exciting. This is real quick, didn't take, wasn't a long wait, and there's no extra cost, meaning we've already paid for it with all of our fuel taxes and all that, <laughs> so. May just scan out there. The little waves we're feeling are waves from lobster boats that have gone through. But there is a significant current. It's kind of a little narrows, so the cable keeps the ferry on track. Such a beautiful morning. Look at this view from the Cabot Trail. All the lobster boats out there checking their traps. Bottom deck. There it is. Whoa. Oh my goodness. 
I think we'll fit. I think we will too. Oh, oh we're my over the water. Goodness. <laughs> The six to seven hour ferry ride to Port of Basque, Newfoundland left two hours early and only took five hours to complete in an, in an attempt to avoid the effects of the hurricane to the northeast. Please join us for part three when we begin to explore the island province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you and see you next time.